Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Miss Tina. I will be replacing Miss Kayla while she is away having her baby and on maternity leave. I hope you enjoy story times. I will be covering for a few months, uh, quite a few months while she's away, and I will try and do the best job possible in her absence. So today we are talking about puppies. So let's get started. Our first story will be Where's Spot? This is a story by Eric Hill and it was published by G.P. Putnam's Sons, New York. Where's Spot? That's Spot. He hasn't eaten his supper. Where can he be? Is he behind the door? No. There's a bear eating honey. Is he inside the clock? No, slithery snake is inside the clock. Is he in the piano? No, said the hippo. No, said the little birdie. Is he under the stairs? No, said the lion. Is he in the closet? I wonder if he's in the closet. No, it's a playful monkey eating a banana. Is he under the bed? Nope, he is not. Is he in the box? No, 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 said three penguins. There's Spot. I bet he's under the rug. Uh-oh. He's not under the rug, it's a turtle. And the turtle says, try the basket. <gasps> is he gonna be in there? Is that gonna be Spot? It is Spot! It's our little buddy Spot. Good boy, Spot. Look, he's eating his supper while his little tail wiggles. Isn't he cute? Puppies are so cute. Now let's do our wonderful fact for it. This story is five little puppies. Five little puppies sitting in the sun. This one saw a bunny and he began to run. Woof, 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 woof. Four little bunnies sitting in the sun. This one saw a butterfly and he began to run. Woof, 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 woof. Run away bunny, run away puppies. Three little puppies left sitting in the sun. This one saw a kitty cat and he began to run. Woof, 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 meow. Woof, woof, woof. Two little puppies sitting in the sun. This one started to chase after his tail. Woof, 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 woof. Silly puppy. One little puppy sitting in the sun and he sits there quietly, not making a sound. Good little puppy. I hope you all love puppies. So let's do our song then. Knock, knock, knock. There's a puppy at the door, at the door. There's a puppy at the door, at the door. Oh, who could ask for more than a puppy at the door? There's a puppy at the door, at the door. There's a puppy in the house, in the house. There's a puppy in the house, in the house. Are you sure it's not a mouse? No, a puppy in the house. There's a puppy in the house, in the house. There's a puppy in my room, in my room. There's a puppy in my room, in my room. Now he's chewing on a broom, the little puppy in my room. There's a puppy in my room, in my room. There's a puppy on my bed, on my bed. There's a puppy on my bed, on my bed. Now he's licking at my head, the little puppy on my bed. There's a puppy on my bed, on my bed. Oh, we do love puppies, don't we? Okay, uh, before I go to our last story, I'm gonna show you today's craft. It was very easy. Here is a toilet paper roll puppy. Here, I'll do like this so you can kind of see it a bit better. So all I did was took a toilet paper roll that was empty after I'd used it up in the bathroom 
And then I took some other cardboard and cut out some shapes for legs, well, paws, and for little heads. So it's very simple. You colored it in, you color it in. I used marker. You could use marker, pencil crayons, paint, coloring, coloring crayons. You can use whatever you'd like to use and you can call it whatever color you want. I chose this color because I thought it was kind of cute. Now, all I did was I added a little nose, eye and ear and mouth and little paws here, little lines for paws. And that was just with a black marker. Now you could also do a white dog with black spots and make it sort of like a Dalmatian. Or you can make it a beige color with brown spots and make it like our friend Spot from our story. So you can make even more if you want. You can have as many doggies as you have toilet paper rolls. And then all you have to do is glue or tape the pieces on to the toilet paper roll. And then you have the little paws and the little head and you have a little puppy. Woof, 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 woof. Easy peasy. Next up, we have our story a dog named Doug. Now this was written by Karma Wilson and Matt Myers and was printed by Margaret K. McEldery Books. Once there was a dog named Doug. Doug liked to dig, but when dog, sorry, but when Doug dug, oh boy, did Doug dig. Look at that big, there's a big mess all over the lawn. Oh my, what a puppy. Once he dug up a ground squirrel's nest. The feisty squirrel was not impressed. I can dig better than you. Doug howled with laughter. Ha <laughs> ha, let's see if that's true. So they started to race, but Doug dug faster. He proved that he was the digging master. With his nose down low, the dirt flew up high. Clubs hit the cat as Doug sauntered by. Many miles of dirt dug, 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 leaving heaps and piles and mounds of mud. Ruts so deep and holes so wide that a giant tractor fell inside. Oh my. And boy, did Doug dig. He dug to the east. He dug to the west. He dug his way to a treasure chest with about a million dollars inside. Doug smiled wide, then tossed it aside. <laughs> he dug his way past an old gold mine and took no note of the danger sign. Uh-oh. And oh boy, did Doug dig. He dug to the north, he dug to the south. There was grit in his eyes and sand in his mouth. Toop, toop, toop. But Doug kept scratching and scratching on till his head popped up on the White House lawn. He's going to visit the President of the United States. He took the tour, he saw the sights, then decided he'd better dig home for the night. So Doug got busy digging and Oh boy, did Doug dig and dig and dig. Look at all the places he went to. He dug all over the place and dig and dig more places. He is a digging dog and dig. He ended up on the other side of the world. He dug so far, he went straight through to the bottom. At home, the family scolded him hard. Doug, stop digging holes in the yard. But they fed him a bone and gave him a hug, then tucked him in bed with a good night, Doug. But still, Doug, Doug. Doug settled into his cozy bed with visions of marvelous holes in his head. Doug had a dream he was digging. And oh boy, did Doug dig? See, he dug all the way to another planet in his dream and saw aliens. How funny is that? And that's the end of that story. So I hope you've enjoyed our story time today. Uh, I'm sure everybody loves puppies. 
Maybe some of you even have a puppy. I myself have a little puppy named Daisy. She's only about nine pounds. She's not very big and she's a sweet little puppy. Um, it's beautiful weather out today and it's supposed to be a beautiful week all week. So make sure to get outside, play outside with your families and enjoy the nice weather. And I will see you next week. Thank you, have a good day. So long, farewell, avitas and adieu to you and you and you and you and you. Bye friends.